All right, so this is a suggestion via a donation. Uh, the name of the video is uh, NPR Delicious Dish Dusty Muffin. All right, uh, coming from uh, SNL, guys. Go and check it out. Hello. H Hi. I'm Margaret Jo McCullough. And I'm Terry Rialto. And, and you're listening, listening to The Delicious, delicious Dish. dish. On uh, National Public Radio. <laughs> well, Terry, tomorrow is the first Sunday in May, and it's one of our favorite holidays on Delicious Dish. That's right, Margaret Jo. Every year for one day, we celebrate and say thank you to Dietary, dietary Fiber. fiber. <laughs> As you all know, Sunday is National Dietary Fiber Day. Okay. We've celebrated that together for years. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure that I would actually, you know, like purposely turn them on the radio. Uh, ever. And even though we've been friends for a long time, you could say our shared love of fiber keeps our relationship brand new. <laughs> this is wildly weird. Thanks. You took the D off brand and made it brand. Bingo. <laughs> Did you just come up with that joke? No. I got the idea the day after last day's, <clears throat> last year's Dietary Fiber Day show, and so I had to wait till now. So, Terry, what's your favorite kind of fiber? What? Uh, quinoa. Whoa. I threw you, didn't I? You thought I was going to say barley. Yeah. That was a real game changer. <laughs> More like grain changer. <laughs> these, are, these, these are like bad dad jokes, guys. You're lucky you thought of that joke today. Yeah, it's neat. It's fun. It's good, good. good times. Happy Fiber Day. Go to you, too. Thanks. Our guest today is a little bit of a rock star in the confectionery world. Okay. No kidding. She can shake it, break it, and sprinkle it, child. Oh. Please welcome Florence Dusty from Dusty's Old Time Bakery. Florence Hi, Dusty. Florence. Hi, Florence. All right. Hold on. Well, welcome. Thank you for having me. Florence, what delicious treat are you going to share with us today? Ah, well, a lot of people like my pumpkin pie, and of course okay. my, my carrot cake is obviously legendary. Right. But if there's one thing I'm known for, Go ahead. it's my muffin. <laughs> what happened? Wow. I mean... Get a whiff of that. I bet. <laughs> Pretty intense, right? Right. Mm, I can't wait to taste your muffin. Mm. Mm. Wow. Warm. Mm -hmm. Right. Warm and yummy. It's surprisingly salty. I mean that in a very good way. Your muffin is remarkably velvety. Mm. Oh. Really? It's true. I think we both assumed, and I think wrongfully, that okay. a baker of your generation might tend towards a more dry or crusty muffin. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's true. Many bakers from my era uh, have dry or even yeasty muffins. Ooh. Ooh. A yeasty muffin can really ruin your whole day. I, I bet. Sometimes you're weak. Right. Wow, the phone lines are really lighting up. I bet, bro, that's a fact. I mean, I have questions. Florence, there's a tangy taste in this muffin. Is that a cherry? Mm. Oh, no, no, my muffin hasn't had a cherry since 1939. Your muffin sure has seen a lot. No. Mm. 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 Mmm, your muffin just squirted in my mouth. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I, right I am uncomfortable. All right, I am. I, I am uncomfortable. You know, <laughs> I mean, let's let's just do this, guys. Yeah, I mean, I never would have thought of go to town. Right, actually. You know, I don't talk about it a lot, but. I went through a pretty major muffin phase in college. Oh. I would have guessed that based on your appearance. <laughs> it's the haircut. Now, you're unveiling your new muffin today. Are you nervous about how Guys. it will be received? 
Well, you know, girls, when I was younger, I was so concerned with how my muffin looked. <laughs> but as I got older, I started to think, to heck with it. This is my muffin, and I don't care how it looks. Right. I'm just going to let it all hang out. Right. That's really progressive. You go, sister. That's right, child. I'm Florence Dusty. I'm 88 and a half years old, and I'm proud to unveil my giant Dusty Muffin. <laughs> it, it, it probably is. It's a lot when you do a whole lot of business. Well, ladies, as I used to say to my loving this is, husband, this is crazy. Irving of 55 years. Okay. What are you waiting for, stupid? Eat it. <laughs> Good times. God bless you. Well, thank you so much, Florence. And to our listeners, don't worry, we'll be sure to post some really sweet muffin shots online later. I bet. I Good bet. Good times. <clears throat> That's all for Delicious Dish. Join us next week when we'll be talking about pork, pork buns. buns. Not a fam. <sighs> Guys. Guys, listen. This is weird. I understand, right? Everybody is everybody, right? You know, age age occurs to everybody, right? But I don't know. I never, I never really wanted to think of, you know, her, you know, her her, her dusty muffin. I never did because I, I never it never crossed my mind. But listen, the, the comedy is absolutely amazing here. Uh, it was definitely a, you know a slow burn here. It was definitely a slow burn. But at least we now know. Uh, about all the characteristics, you know, of her muffin and and the loss of the cherry in, in 1939. But all right, listen, let me know in the comments how the next one of these from the show that I should be checking out. And I will get to that as soon as I possibly can. <laughs> and listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day thoroughly.